hello everyone welcome back and today we are going to talk about the folder structure of this app so this is the last place we left in this in the previous video if you have not checked that out check it so you can know about the features uh we'll be talking about on this food delivery app and so we are going to do some cleanup here and actually create more folders so we um can work um with this and let's see our uh, popspec.tml we are here you can see everything is all green here those are the comments um so we are going to um clean some things here so i'm going to clean this i'm going to remove that i'm going to remove this line um and as well remove all of this line this all talking about the version here uh, we'll talk about that in the future and i'm going to remove this line as well um give some spacing i'm going to remove here um we are going to make this really clean so we know what we are working with and i'm going to clean this as well and remove this as well so this is flutter links um it works well for the analyzer so uh, we are going to keep that and we are going to remove this and remove this as well and we are going to keep one of this and um, so as a reference we are going to um, clean all of this as well and and remove this to this point so we know um the fonts and assets as you keep them as an as a reference so um we have cleaned up the the prospect.tml and let's go to the um analysis options here so let's clean this as well we can add more things later um but let's clean this mm, yeah clean clean and clean so all clean now we can save that so the next thing is the lib folder and in our main um main dot that here and this is going to be where our main um app and main dot that actually is our entry point so i'm going to clean all of this i'm going to remove all of this we are all going to start from scratch and do this so this i'm going to remove this test folder here and we are going to talk about tests later and let's create a a new main dot that here and our main our main entry point so so we have to create that here and we are going to come back to this so because this is going to be the main place our app is going to um run out from that's why typing it here just bring this up um we can run the bug and run this on profile so let's um talk about some other folders we will we'll be um, creating here so uh on the uh on the parents here uh on the root folder here um we will create one more folder here call it assets and this asset is going to contain everything about our assets like the images the icons um contains the fonts um contains maybe we have some um, gifs and videos we might we can add them to these assets so we are going to create um some other subfolders in this we can call this and um, we can call this icons we create a new one um call it fonts and create a new one call it um images and yeah i think this is okay this is okay so let's go to our lib folder here and create more folder um so um base this is going to be uh, i think on the the um state management solution we are going to be using in the future which is either the um, provider and the block uh, the blog um, block pattern actually um, you can use this um, folder structure I'm, I'm going to show you guys um, first we are going to create a model um, folder call it models and the second we are going to call create a new one called screens um, but we can actually call that pages as well if we want can call that pages uh, you can change the name on your side um, the next here we are going to create is the components 
so this component is going to contain some of the sub um, components we are using in our app some component that we might want to reuse like you can see in the design here you can see some familiar components and i you can you can see this button here is being used here it's being used here and we can go about in every widget creating that same button every over and over again so this component folder and um, this component folder is going to um, help with that so we are going to create component like button we are going to create component like a bar and those um, things that we are not going to um we are not going to always create from scratch but we are going to reuse so th that's what the component folder does and the next is the constant so the constant folder is where all our constant um, um things are going to be like um um like some some um parts we we can add some keys some constants um and widgets that we might want to add so which doesn't change we might add it there um yeah so another one here it's going to be it's going to be um services it's going to be services so services is more um more of um some service we are going to use on our our projects just like maybe we want to make phone call that's a service we we can use that folder and add a, a file called um calls service um yeah we can call it phone call service and we use that in our flutter application so that's what the service services folder is going to help on and the next we are going to create here it's the um repository and repository so we are going to call it repositories um yeah i think i've made a mistake here um okay so this repository is uh is basically where we are going to make our network calls since this is going to need some internet we need internet um, we need to make network calls and we can make network calls to our saver so everything about about that code is going to be on the repositories so that's how the repository is going to work and the repositories here is going to connect to the models and from the models we are going to use that on our um, pages and as well we can use that on the services as well so we can use the services on the pages and also we can use the services on the repositories as well and next is the utils um the utils so this is um short for utilities so we will have some um, things with useful and um, things we'll be using like maybe we can have a utility for um dates to um to help in date formatting and also have for money as well um maybe based on um, the, your region it gets the currency type and display that to the ui so those are the things um, um could can work on the utilities part so um what other folder we can create here what other folder we can rename these pages to screen and if you want can rename that that back to pages so i can just I can know um what this is going to contain all our screens and every screen can have a a state can have a state and also we can also have a global state as well a global state that controls the the whole app and we can name that whatever thing we want to name it maybe app states uh and global state and anything we want to name it so we are missing out the team folder so we'll add that um we'll add that themes so this is going to control the themes uh, uh on this app the theme is the colors is the font is the styling everything about the theming in the app this folder is going to take care of all of that so i think this is basically it as more um features coming we might want to introduce more um, um folders here um i don't have to over engineer things here and make things complex this is um using this makes things uh, makes our life easier because we are going to specify things um accordingly and inside 
each of these we might have subfolders as well so to make the projects and um, go smoothly so um, um we are going to talk about uh, another thing on, uh, on our next video which is going to be the main folder and everything so if you're not a subscriber to this um, channel you can hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more updates about this particular project we are working on thank you